Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras. And for this video, we're gonna take a look at editing with the Mac Mini Pro 2023 base model with Final Cut Pro. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're gonna be looking at 8K video because I think that's a good uh, benchmark to play with this. And as you can see here, I'm recording the screen uh, with QuickTime. Uh, so that is running in the background and it doesn't seem to affect the machine at all. Uh, but let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit. This is 8K video. This is H.265. So this is one of the hardest codecs to edit with uh, on your nonlinear editing system. So um, let's go around and see what else we can do here. Let's see if we can go ahead and straighten this out a little bit. Let's see how that works. So we click on this one here. We click on transform. And then we go ahead and we're going to kind of make this more, level out the horizon of this a little bit more. So really what I want to do is I want to see as I add these, um, as I add these and, and make these adjustments, if I can just go ahead and it'll, if it'll allow me to uh, play them. I'm not going to stop too much and let it render. Uh, you know, in between when I'm looking at the next thing to do. I just want to kind of see how everything reacts. Uh, so far, um, it's working really well. Uh, let's see what we can do next here. So that one is good. And this is really great. You know, I talked about it in my last video, not too much, but what's really cool is an 8K footage is not always delivering it in 8K. It's what is how you can crop in. And you know, you're going to see in a minute, I'm going to crop, I'm going to do these 200% crops, which basically takes us to 4K. You know, these are things that, yeah, you can do them in 4K uh, with 4K footage, but it just softens it up so much. But I'm going to show you a really cool shot. So check this one out here. So that car is pulling in and, you know, it's kind of a, a static shot. I did pan over a little bit, but watch how we're going to make this way more interesting. And this is what's really cool with the 8K footage. So we're going to go ahead and click on crop. And then we're going to, we're at Ken Burns. Uh, hang on a second. So there we are. And then, okay, we got to change this around because we want the end to be on the cropped inside. So that's what I was doing there with the little arrows. So we're going to make that really tiny. And we're going to take that scale up. Now here I'm going past, uh, I took it up to about, what, 302%. So we're a little above, but it's right at the tail end of the crop. So it's going to be cropping in. So you're not going to really notice it. So there it is. That's the end frame. So let's go ahead and play this back and see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and take that back here. Let's take it to over right there. And then um, I guess I can let it finish. Uh, on one of these, I'm just gonna play it and see what it does. But I don't know if you can see it on the top left-hand corner there, but where it says Final Cut Pro, that's where it's rendering. I just wanna kinda see how fast uh, it can do it. So we're gonna go ahead and play it now. Now look at the difference here. Now look at this. Look at this great move. See, this is what's really cool about shooting with the 8K footage, that you can do these kind of shots. So you can do all this in post. Look at that. That is really cool. So next up, I'm going to do a crop in on this billboard sign that's going to be coming up here. This one here, and you can see... Yeah, it's fine, but I want to do a uh, Ken Burns slow creep in on that uh, billboard. So watch how we can take this kind of boring scene and clip. And we're going to go to crop. It's already on Ken Burns. And we're just going to punch it in. And I'm going to show you what it looks like, just taking it to around 200%. Yeah, it's, about, it's pretty close. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. And... Let's see what it can do. All right. So I'm just letting it play without letting it render. I just want to see what happens. And it's working great. It's not having any problem. And yeah, that's pretty good. That's great. And remember, this hasn't been rendered and, you know, I'm recording the screen at the same time. All right. So next up, we're going to go ahead and take this shot here and I want to keep adding more bits and pieces and I just want to see if uh, any little issues pop up. 
Uh, I think after this one, I'll probably let it render everything, but I want to see, see, as I've added these things, you know, I haven't really been letting it uh, render. I just want to see how long that's going to take. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do another uh, Ken Burns crop here on this one, kind of similar to the other one. Just do this really quick just to see how this works. Okay. All right. There we go. And... And like I said, this would be a lot easier with uh, 4K footage and 4K footage that's not H.265. So this is a real test to really see uh, what it can do, uh, what most people are doing. Yes, you can do a much bigger project and add all kinds of things, but this is probably what most people are doing, uh, you know, pretty simple editing. And you can really just see, because as you keep adding things, this is where the problems start. Uh, so here also... Uh, I'm trying to fix that, uh, just cut off that end a little bit. Now, I think this is a Final Cut Pro problem because I've run into this before. See, I'm trying to kind of push it back there, and it won't let me there. It let me. Uh, but I've seen that with uh, my laptop. Uh, I think that's an issue with Final Cut Pro, not, not something related to uh, this computer and what we're doing here. All right, so let's see how that works. It's playing it back smoothly. Seems good. All right, I think that's fine there. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this back to the top of the project. Look up at the top there where it says Final Cut Pro next to the little key, to the right of that. You can see that, uh, that little donut there and it's filling up and it's filling up pretty fast. So this is not taking long at all. That's pretty good. So I'm just going to wait on it and see because I'm just I'm kind of curious because, you know, as I work with this, this is a learning process. These computers have just come out and uh, this is a learning process also. Um, I don't know if I said it at the top of the video, but um, this is uh, the base model uh, MacBook Pro. I mean, excuse me. Yeah, uh, uh, Mac Mini uh, Pro and uh, just what it comes with. So that's a 512 on the hard drive and 16 gigs of RAM. And it seems to be working great. Just play through a little bit. But uh, I'm very impressed with this machine. I got to tell you, for $1,200, this is a great option. I mean, this thing is working as good as the uh, Mac Studio. So um, at about half the cost. So let's do a crop in on that. So let's go to our crop and we'll do a Ken Burns. Because these are... The Ken Burns are the more complicated ones other than just doing a, uh, a crop. So we'll take that up there and then drop it in. All right. Let's see how that looks. Go ahead and play it. There we go. It's pretty good. That's the uh, this is the Sony A7R5 with the 35 to 150, and that's looking pretty good. It's pretty sharp for handheld. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some stabilization, and this is a pretty short clip, so it should do that pretty fast. Plus, we're gonna cut off that that where I was uh, cut that that piece off the end there. So we'll do that. Let's see if it lets me. Yep, it's working fine. Like I said, that other issue earlier, I really think that's something with Final Cut Pro. All right, let's see. And let's take a look up there. If you look up the little donut there, it's it's moving pretty fast. So I can tell you from using the, uh, like a base, uh, like a Mac Mini M1, like that little clip like right there, you'd be waiting about a minute and a half for that to stabilize. Uh, and probably a little bit longer because it's 8K footage, you know, H.265 footage. But uh, that did it pretty fast. I mean, just a few seconds. And look at that now. That's pretty cool. Now I've combined my Mac mini setup with the uh, Samsung M8 monitor, uh, 4K 32 inch monitor, which works really well with this. And I have it plugged in uh, Thunderbolt, so it's USB-C out of the monitor. Um, it also does have uh, HDMI. I'm going to do another video on that. Uh, we'll talk about that, the differences. So for the last one I think I'm going to do today is um, we're going to go ahead and see how it works uh, 
cropping in on uh, this little uh, this little uh, shot here. So let's see how it does. And um, you know, as I was saying earlier, you know, it's so cool with uh, shooting 8K because, like, look at this shot here. So we have it, and it's fine. But uh, you know, really, the funny part of this this scene is the the uh, actor's hair. So. You know, you see it pretty good there, but I think, well, it would be kind of nice to, to crop in on that and then kind of go back to the wide shot. So while it was all just shot in one take, let's just do that. And, um, you know, I kind of cut it up a little bit and take a little piece of it here. So let's go ahead and do that here. And the great thing about this is, you know, I'm I'm all for, you know, when you shoot things, you know, is that's what you get, but it's also nice to have a different look once you're in post. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this and see how it looks and play it back. And I'll fix that piece there too, but let's see, let's go right here. All right, and there we go. Okay, all right, there we go. So let's see. You know, it's kind of cool. It just, um, see, let me punch back to the wide. Now, like I said, you can do that with 4K footage, but when you do that, it's going to get so soft, it's just not going to match. You know, it's just not going to look right at all. And then here, like when I was shooting this, you know, I was on the, this was the 35 to 150, but you can see like where I'm standing because it's, you know, it's, it's slightly wide angle because really your normal perspective would be 50 millimeter. So watch this. I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to transform it and I'm just going to straighten it ever so slightly. So, and you know, when you're using this transform tool, you see how if you move your mouse to the right, you, the bigger the ball that you get, it's easier to control. So you see there, I've kind of leveled it out. Okay. So now I'm going to use the scaling tool. Uh, and I'm gonna just gonna adjust the percentage there just up a little bit because uh, I want to see everything. Uh, I don't want to cut off the actor's head. And uh, let's see how that works there. So I think that'll wrap up this video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the content here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and come back to my channel for more videos, especially on the Mac Mini Studio. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.